In this video, we provide the solution to question number two from the practice exam number two for math 1050. We're given this absolute value equation, the absolute value of 2 sevenths x plus 3 fourths is all equal to 1. And we need to solve this equation. Well, whenever you have an absolute value equal to something, we have to check the sign on the other side. If you have, to, if you have absolute value equal to some negative number like negative 2, you would end up with no solution. Um, if you have absolute value equal to zero, you'd only end up with one solution in that situation. So we, we would handle those exceptional cases uh, if they occurred. In this situation, we just have absolute value is equal to a positive one. Um, and so to remove the absolute value, we have to consider both the positive and negative case. So we get 2 sevenths x plus 3 fourths is equal to plus or minus one. Right, I can actually consider both of these cases in tandem here. We're going to subtract 3 fourths from both sides of the equation. Uh, this then gives us 2 sevenths x is equal to negative 3 fourths plus or minus 1, uh, for which, as you do have to ultimately add these together or subtract them, I'm going to re rewrite the 1 as a 4 over 4. Thus, this becomes negative 3 plus or minus 4 over 4. Uh, again, just for, just for convenience later on. To solve for x, then we would times both sides by 7 halves, the reciprocal of the coefficient there. So we do that on the other side as well, 7 halves like so. Um, and so we end up with 7 times negative 3 plus or minus 4 all over 4 times 2 is 8. Now we're at the point which we really can't um, go any further without actually considering the two cases. So we have these two cases. We have the addition and the subtraction. You have 7 times negative 3 plus 4 over 8, and then we have 7 times negative 3 minus 4 all over 8. In the first case, 3, uh, that is 4 minus 3, that's going to be 1, 1 times 7 is 7, so we end up with a 7 eighths as one of the solutions. And then on the second one, you're going to get negative 3 minus 4, which is a negative 7, like so. 7 times negative 7 gives us a negative 49, still over 8, and so we see that the correct answer then would be choice E.